hello to everyone in the chats. A little Fetty, oh yeah, I think you put that in hours ago. Jojo Potato, what's up? More FMV, I'm here for it, same. I also have one more in my library in Steam, and I recognize her, remember her? She was the killer in the last game. The bitch. That's the victim. We're a detective investigating a murder. There go that weird flirtatious lady. I don't know who that person is. She was in contradiction. She was the girlfriend of the dude that looked like the 10th, no, the 11th doctor. That's Jenks. Another human being in chat. <laughs> At the start, insane, right? Let's get started. New game, let's go. I haven't touched anything. Oh, that's loud. Ooh, that was loud. Eh. We're a detective. We could shape shift. To Radio August. Dark nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock, and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief Dupont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. Like they don't get murders over there. Oh no, Mariana isn't in this game, is she? If her name is... God damn, that was loud. Ugh. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Who are you? If her name's Mariana, <laughs> eh, I'm gonna have some feelings about that. How are you into Kitty? I'm good, and Coco's mad because I made her come inside from the deck and she wasn't ready. Love the freeze framing here. Um, uh, oh, hey, who are you? Who, who do you think you are? Me keeping my mouth shut? <laughs> good God. You're not my daddy. You can't say that to me. Exactly. Rewind. What? Huh? He looks like he smells something awful. What? Hey, why am I doing this again? He didn't like my answer? You're listening to Radio August. Dark night. Skip, 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 skip. Skip. It's five o'clock and I'm skip. <laughs> Damn it. Fine. Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief Dupont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch. So what, he doesn't want me to say anything? Because he, like, keep your mouth shut. Indeed it is. Okay, can we move it along? Consequences of your action. What, speaking? You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. No. I don't follow orders. What is this? Sam? Sam. Uh, I'll say nothing. I, uh, I'll hold it. You know why you're here, don't you? No. The dead girl. Okay. And this. Thank you. What exactly were you thinking? Did you brush your you teeth? Have one job. Don't get caught. Okay. Do you think you can do that this time? Maybe. Yeah, sure. It's a rhetorical question. Am I starting over? You're going to a town <laughs> called August. Find Chief DuPont. <gasps> He's a chief. Think you're someone else. That's Jenks. This it gotta person. be Jenks. This is who you are now. Understood? Nope. Who am I? 
No, fine. I have. I can't be a little shit like I want to be. Yeah. Splendid. Ugh. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, you'll be deprecated. Okay. Deprecated. Okay. You don't have to repeat it. I understand. You're gonna kill me. We you're gonna delete you to me. Use your ability. Just don't get caught, and never ever change into a child. In Brighton, Why? August now I gotta do it. Is celebrating the return of a <laughs> is there a kid? Barley, the eight-month-old basset hound puppy, was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. Aww. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. No. Oh. Welcome to the guest house. Hi. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, Familiar oh, face. Staying for. Do you remember Cthulhu? Do you like the beach? Do you remember the ocean? Because I remember the ocean. How's the sound? I feel like it's going everywhere. As long as it takes. I'm not sure, Miss Violet. Oh, she. Her name's Violet, so not Mariana. She is pretty, though. I love her hair. I'm not sure. That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. Maybe. Visitors? It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. Okay. It's deathly quiet. That is some. More than one tarot reader? Wait, what murder are you speaking of? Yes, the murder. What? what? You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? No. The chief? I know nothing. Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief is <laughs> where you'd like it. <laughs> Just finishing. Presumptuous of Chief. <laughs> uh, what, what are you doing? Uh, you predicting the future, ma'am? You don't believe? Uh, d no? That's okay. Sometimes life is just a stream of coincidences. Hi, I'm Bromley. Hello. Pleased to meet you. I'm Sam. You can call me Sam. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. Sh no, actually. <laughs> I think they'll detect something's wrong with me. <laughs> Backdoor chiefin. Maybe later. I'll come find you. That sounds super. I'm in room one and that's Sam the Hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. Who? Which room are you in, Sam? I, it's, uh, the... I don't want to say. I don't know you. That's... Okay, it's fine. No. Mysterious. But I know you're in room four, Sam. Don't do anything I wouldn't do in there. Okay, that's... Be a good one. Ugh. Harder even than a magpie. One and done. The kitten's skull was softer than he expected. I'm just gonna kitten. go into my room. What the hell was that? What in the world is playing on the radio? Where's Chief? I'm getting dizzy. Where's my back door? Um, leave shifting locked. Okay, where's Chief? Until he could no longer hear his own breathing. Hail a I guess I hail a cab. And sat grudgingly. Visit the Chief. Until okay, you, you got my message. Oh, there he is. Chief Inspector Dupont. I wasn't sure you'd come. But I suppose you're between jobs? He got promoted. He's Chief now. Got suspenders too. Fancy. Very fancy. I'm Sam. Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam. There's no need to be like that. He so, has his head! Good job. Dorota Shaw. 
21, the Comptus Cellist, redhead. Strangle. I know who did it, but I need proof. Who did it? Arrow leaders. That narrows it down. There's three of them. Okay, him I missed. <laughs> Love Jenks. Um, who is it? Dorota? Do, who? Yes. Keep up, Sam. That's the girl who was murdered. Yes. His hat. <laughs> A little Fetty be nice. Why are the terror readers? Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office. To my <laughs> older? Crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. You did your best to not lock her up? Was he hiding his bald head beneath that hat in contradiction? Yeah, his hat came off. When somebody put a bag over his head, he has the same hairstyle. It all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs? To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. But you want to put her in jail? <laughs> yeah, I'm nice. Why isn't she in jail? Because things. Because you have no proof. Enough, that's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? See, he's the chief I report to now. Aren't you loving your promotion, Jenks? Ooh, handcuffs. Yeah, yeah I'll do my best, Jenks. Okay. I don't want to disappoint you. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. What do you mean, you don't, don't touch people? Authority, understand? But what do you mean? You help me out. What do you, I'll help you. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> don't touch people. But help me out with what? Where's my patching gun? No badge and gun, just a hope and a promise. Come and find me when you're settled. A hope. This is second chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. What is a second? Did I do something wrong? Um, but, 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 uh, but I can delete questions. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Why do I have the ability to delete questions? Uh, but, but, but can you tell me about Violet? Uh, born here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? She wants to ask you out on a date. <laughs> Nothing. She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? No. What? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. Of course it wouldn't handle Violet. Uh, tell me about our victim. What do you want to know? She was a cellist. Selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. That's how you spell cellist? It's the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. hope a promise and a paycheck jinx a paycheck a paycheck would be nice don't read the paper do you no yesterday monday the 9th at approximately 9 p.m according to the coroner she was a call killed her mother just after 10 p.m she called her mother after 10 p.m so she was killed after 10 p.m where was she killed her room can i get into the room in her bedroom can i go there she was naked. Strangled. Okay. It no was... signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. Never mind. I was going to say something. Thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Was it like a chocolate gold coin or was it an actual gold coin? So now I got to be on the lookout for gold coins. Is that a thing in the UK? Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? Maybe. <laughs> do you have an alibi for last night? Do, do I have an alibi for last night? Do yes, I? yes, you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was here, and there are video monitors that will prove it. Thanks for ruling me out, genius. <laughs> I have to rule out everyone. Gosh. Circled the kitten's body. Stepping over its limp legs, what without the, even looking, what, what in the her world? eyes fixed on him, 
Waiting for what? He crouched down for a closer look. I'm going to visit. Ooh, pink nose, pink ears. So fluffy. The cutest thing. We're on to kitten now, Uni. Uni meow. Lexi, who's Lexi? Up. I'll go to Violet. I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. I hate when I'm going to bed naked with a gold coin in my mouth and then someone comes to my room and strangles me. Yeah, I would hate that too. She's not wearing shoes. I mean, she did say that. She said the carpet is priceless and I see a rug and hardwood floors. Hmm. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Did you know whatever her name was? Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Why lamb? <laughs> Why lamb? Yes, a lamb. Sacrifice? Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though. Don't they? So, she was a nice lady? Nice, yes. That's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. You would pick that out. Why did you think she was slutty? Sorry. I'm gossiping. I want to know. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. It's fine. Ask her boyfriend. She has a boyfriend? Where is he? Where is her boyfriend? The rug upon many people put their nasty outdoor shoes on is priceless. <laughs> yeah, right. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. The vicarage? Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. Well, I'm a detective. But I don't have a badge or a gun, so I'm not really a detective. Who are the other guests? They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Why do you want them to leave? Because they may have killed someone. Well, then you gotta keep them. Not em. great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. Well, who's the hobo? <laughs> I hate when I'm murdered. The cops rule out sexual activity, but clearly I was doing some airplay. Get it right. Exactly. What's up with this camera work? I'm sorry, it's a derogatory word, isn't it? Not really. But strange people seem to gravitate towards this guest house, Sam. I'll get the sign changed. I guess she couldn't accidentally swallow a coin with being strangled. <laughs> yeah, that would be difficult. Swallowing anything while your throat's constricted. I haven't seen her body... Was it manual or ligature? Because that matters. What were you doing last night? It's the strangest thing. Oh, God. I honestly don't remember. She has blackouts, get her. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. She did it. Have you ever been to her house? No, and I didn't murder her if that's what you're asking. Chief said you were taking pills. What for? I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. You're taking pills and you don't know what they're for? But I know what they're for. They're for schizophrenia, apparently. I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. Well, Google says something. Who wants to reach heights that they've never okay. seen do i want to visit i'll visit the they're, tarot they're people they might sam is it what's up with these I'm beds sensing you're not here for a reading why are they like this and why does that one bed look like it's longer than the other what is this setup this is so old i have some questions about the murder how'd you predict the murder where were you 9 p.m last night now <laughs> this one in my room, reading. I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. I feel called out. That's too easy, right? No. What in the world? Sorry. 
Who do you want to call? No one. Canceling. Good God. Why is my Alexa trying to call someone? Uh, saved you? She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. Okay. You think Violet is trashy? Why do you think she's trashy? I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. I mean, the two beds pushed together. Hmm. How did you predict the murder? We saw it in the cards, not images. Feelings, impressions. What, what was the reading? Tarot can be very powerful. Okay, so what was it? What were the cards, though? Can't you ask who the killer is? Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. Well, that's annoying. Hey, someone's gonna die, but I am not gonna tell you who it is. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. Okay, yes. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. Okay. How well did you know her, the murder victim? I didn't. We've only been here two days. I understand it's suspicious me being a stranger in town, but... Same. It's the truth. I'm also a shapeshifter. Except you predicted her murder. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam. We're on the same team. Okay. That's kind of quite a literal... Broken heart. Rain. Oh guys. God. Hello. Us. I'm Rain, by the way. I don't trust you. Don't touch his hand. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Don't don't touch him. I'm Sam. Don't touch him. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way, so it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. Okay. Cold showers after nine. I should take notes, because that's important. Uh, what were you doing last night? I was in my room. Praying, actually. Uh-huh. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. To who? It didn't work. Obviously. I'm so I just noticed the, the curtains and the, the sofa and the pillows and how... God, what are the curtains? And then the pillows are stripes. And what is this? What didn't work? My prayer. That the girl would be safe. Uh, maybe Violet's a little trashy. Because what is this? We did a reading. Look, look at this. A group reading, actually. What? With a special tarot deck. What's so special about the tarot deck? And my god, this design. What's a group reading? The three of us get together and Hate it. read the same cards. Oh my god. Bronwyn says it makes the whole thing stronger or more powerful. And then the walls are blue. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'd get the same answers just on my own. The walls are blue. The chair is either orange or red. The pillows are red. One pillow is striped red and white. And then the curtains are, what is that? Paisley orange? <laughs> God. Well, I like get some Wayfair, right? Mana, what's up? This guy's hair makes him insta-sus. Yeah, he seems greasy because of his hair. And he held out his hand for me to shake it. No, thank you. No, don't touch him. No. Ew, gross. What did he do to tell me about the special deck? Mercury. It's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. Uh -huh. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. Okay. Can I see the Mercury I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. Okay. What do you know about uh, the, the, the murder victim? I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. Dorota. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. Dorota. Okay. Who's the next victim? Do you have any connection to Dorota at all? No. Not at all. Mm hmm. You're completely barking up the wrong tree there. Mm hmm. Mm, that smile and haircut tells me otherwise. 
<laughs> well, that's what the killer would say. I don't think I want to say that. And I'll see why that's there. <laughs> Sam, I don't have a motive for killing Dorota. Full stop. I thought I... I'd have to be possessed to murder anything. Do you believe in possession, Sam? Maybe. Just keep an eye out for anyone acting suspiciously. Mm -hmm. Although today almost everyone seems to be acting suspiciously. You're very suspicious. I so don't trust you. Dimitri boarded the elevator to the excavation site. What the as hell? He has been doing for the last 248 days. What is this radio? Hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Me casa es mi casa. Yeah, let me <laughs> judge your room. Can't judge a tarot reader by the size of his deck. <laughs> yeah, what were you doing last night? I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. This one's better. Her, um, painting our nails. You hesitated. Also, I like the mirror. Can I see your nails? They don't look painted. The fuck? I need to do my nails. No, I mean, yeah. yeah. I'm looking. I've already cleaned it off. Why? Uh, why'd you come to August? The cards told us to. Well, the cards of rain. Tarot gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. Mm -hmm. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. Okay. You do whatever the cards tell you? Like clean off your nails? No. Well, yeah. Well, no. Oh my goodness. We have a job to do. What's your job? I didn't say job. I said job. I don't like her. Arrest her. She's annoying. A job. Okay. We make a um, cheese obelisk. Yummy. Job. And depending on the shape of that job, we get different answers to questions. But you're making it so you can make it into whatever shape you want to. How's that work? <laughs> yeah, right. There's not a hint of stain on those nails. Exactly. No, you don't. I want to stab her with my pen. God, you're annoying. I met you three minutes ago. And I hate you. She's like my big sister. So pretty well. Why do you have the best room? Ugh. Do you think she killed? No. You know the chief's got it all wrong. Bron could never hurt anyone. I thought I deleted it. Sure like you can help prove she's innocent. Eh. Keep them in my good graces. I'll do my best. Really? Because she is completely innocent. Did you know Dorota? Dorota? I don't what? know anyone in this town except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously. And Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Obviously, you keep lying for no reason. How'd you know she was gonna die? Good old fashioned fortune telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? Is it. I was gonna say death, but now I wanna say the devil. Nah, the devil's cool. The tarot one, I mean, not the actual one. I'm not a devil worshipper. So, what's the most dangerous card? It can't be death. Mr. Jones, sup? New game? Who are you dating in it? Well, I'm a shape-shifting detective. I haven't dated anybody yet, but I am wondering if I shift into somebody, if I can lie with them and dance horizontally on a bed. The Five of Swords. I think so, anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, swords are... They're mean. They swords are terrible. <laughs> Did you fight a sword for Dorota? Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota. And Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know. <laughs> swords in general are bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With my limited knowledge of tarot, I know swords are not good. Even in the moon's low gravity, he could feel his stomach drop. Okay, I want to hail a cab. It's six o'clock, and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing Dorota to the community Shaw. to help catch her killer. 
the body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, cellist. was found in her home last night. Mm -hmm. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe. It's just Monroe. terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival. Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Okay, I have a book called WTF is Tarot and How Do I Do It? Figured since we're doing tarot, I can bring up the tower. There it is. I thought the tower was supposed to be the worst tarot card to get. Let's see. The tower enlightenment is a destructive process. It has nothing to do with becoming better. What? No, that's a quote. The tower, destruction, burn, purification, release, liberation, enlightenment cataclysmic transform uproot disintegration apocalyptic extreme helplessness chaos turbulence dismantling calamity violence god jeez okay the tower offers no quick fix and no neat solution no way of pretending that everything is okay or life is ablaze and the only option is to offer ourselves to the fire Okay. <laughs> That's the tower. Jeez. And what'd she say? She said five of swords. That's the world. Minor arcana. Wands. Five of swords. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> This card speaks to the cruel, cutting, and downright twisted ways that we abuse ourselves. Huh. I wonder if there's a reason why she says this is the worst card. The voice that constantly reminds us that no matter how hard we try, we all... We will always be a worthless piece of shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> a little bleak. Just a little bleak. I want to keep investigating. I want to... Faster! Please go faster! He pleaded the moment communication was restored. What's going on, Dr. Sheffield? I can't go to... Dr. Whitford's voice... I was gonna go to the house. What do we know? Pains me to think that I was even on the list, but I'm ruled out because we have video footage of me in the station at the time of the murder. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Mm -hmm. Roman and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. Mm -hmm. The tarot readers have mentioned a job. We don't know what. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, and you found out she's taking pills. Perhaps they're related. That's it. Okay, thanks, Chief. See, he's doing the what the Chief did when he called the Chief in contradiction. He's keeping track of everything. Thanks, Chief. ...he had copied, much to her delight and gratitude. I was hoping that it would... Can you shut up? Over and over. Oh my god, turn off. Yeesh. Anyway, I was hoping... to go to... wherever they said to go to. But I guess I gotta go to the next chapter. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe. It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. 
I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. Yeah, at the Tulip yeah, yeah, Festival. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Indeed. What's with all the paint stuff? Tonight the weather like will be mostly one. dry That's and cold, warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. Girl. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Calm down, you're on the radio. Hit. And how is Ebony doing? I know if this was a stand-up murder mystery, Mion did it. <laughs> what is with these visuals? Okay, next chapter, right? Visit Oscar, and that's what I wanted to do. Do we have confirmation that he was doing what he said he was, because I'm calling it Murderer Vibes, the dude that was praying, or Jinx? Oh, and I'm doing good. Visit Oscar. Who are you? Oh, God. Hello. I'm a shape-shifting detective. I'm Sam. The Shaw's hired me to investigate the murder. Right. Because the local police are so rubbish. Mm. It's been a day. Mm. A whole day. Are these it's games? Awesome. I think those are games. Those are games. Let me see. I want to see. Or we could focus on your dead girlfriend. Whatever. How long were you dating? Whatever her name is. Not long. A couple of months, maybe. Who <laughs> murdered Matilda? We for each other. The chief. Hmm. The chief did it. Well, we didn't see him on camera. Was she seeing anybody else? Was she cheating on you? No. Why? I was just... She was killed in her bedroom. Chief DuPont said there was no sign of anything like that. She was naked. D does she usually sleep naked? Is it possible that the killer was hiding in her room? What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. Yeah. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet. And I suppose someone could have Those are definitely games. Have you hidden in there before? No, must be a big closet. Yeah, it's big enough for two people to have sex in. Okay. Not walls. All right, you've done it. Good to know. She liked to experiment. She had a few kinks. Nothing weird. Mm-hmm. Breath play. Yeah, a band from the sixties. I'm not discussing this with you. Damn, who would he talk about this with? Trudy murdered Matilda. <laughs> But Mion took responsibility because responsibility is what Mion does. Well, Trudy's been taking responsibility too. So would she let Mion take the fall? What was in the closet? Clothes, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. So she was about to be married? Why can't you tell me about her parents? Too much information. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. Oh, that's nice. They supported her dream. Did you see Dorota yesterday? Also, why would you do it in the closet? I get kinks, but the closet? I'm guessing she just wanted to have sex in the closet. Just for the experience. Because I was thinking that too. Why in the closet? Yeah, I went around there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work, and we were, you know, hanging out. Mm-hmm. I left at about five. Hanging out? What do, you, what do you mean, hanging out? Define hanging out, because Chief says there were no signs of certain activities. Like sex, sir. We're playing football. It was just five aside. Uh, huh? About half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. Half nine, didn't call, or didn't pick up after that. Didn't the chief said that he, that she called her mom at ten? Uh, was that it? I said leave. Okay, fine, guess else.
All right, ba ba ba. Violet, hi. Do you think? Why would somebody kill her? She flaunts herself. Her body. Her boudoir photographs taken. Ooh. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother. Why not? Proud of her kid. Sounds like you know a lot about her. Not really. Just gossip. Apparently she went to have some portrait photos done and started stripping off. Weston's photographic. Zach Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. Zach Weston. Why trouble? If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear, somebody's going to get upset. Okay, tell me about Zach Weston. Zach's the local photographer. Where? You should know and talk to him, Sam. I know. Where? He's good at talking. Thank you. Where? Do you know where he is? Thank you. At Weston's photographic? Off the high road? I'm not from he's here. late, but he's always there. Okay, how do you know? I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. Same. My brother put hot sauce in my orange juice when I was six. And it wasn't just any hot, like, hot sauce. It was Tabasco sauce. So it was really hot. And I still remember that. <laughs> Vicar's son. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? <laughs> faces? Different fa- Nope, don't say you know about me. She's different faces? The masks we wear. No. Nah. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know. Would you, Sam? Right, you could be leading people to the ocean, feeding them to a monster in the bottom of it. You you could be doing that. like Like you did before. I'm not following the logic. Dorota died because she had photos taking, taken of her in under crackers. I never heard of undercracker. I don't know. She's saying that she flaunts herself. She was found naked and strangled. So maybe she's saying she got loose with somebody that she shouldn't have been loose with. My judgment from you. Okay. Um. Let's see. Hi, Sam. Back for more already? Yeah. Brahma says she was in her room last night, not yours. Oh, yeah, that's right. All these rooms look the same. Sorry. They do not. They are so different. This one looks better than all the other ones. Don't even try me. Where were you, really? I was in Bron's room. Ask her. Okay. Sure. Did you know that she had a boyfriend? Undercrackers is scientifically the best word. No, I think Bron would met him, though. When? What? Why is she meeting someone's boyfriend? You'd have to ask her. Or him. It's not my place to say. Hmm. So suspicious. All of you. She's judgy, but she has glorious hair. She does have nice hair. She's judgy. She's flighty. She can't focus on one thing. She's a terrible liar. Can I go to my room? Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Why don't I want to be the chief? Okay, so I want to make sure I talk to everybody I can first. Hello? Lexi says she was in her room last night, not yours. Oh, she gets easily confused. Youth of today. You're not old. Fine. Jeep Dupont was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be 
simpler if we stuck together. Mm -hmm. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically it'd be true. And... I meant the other woman. Not the one with the weird lipstick. Oh, the um, redhead? Why'd you lie about your alibi? To protect Lexi. None of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. Um, I'm sorry, Sam. I, I never usually lie. But you lie about a murder? It's been a murder. What were you doing in your room? I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute. Which, now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. Yeah, it's a scam. Did you know the boyfriend? Yes. He came to see me. Okay, good. He wanted to know that she was okay. Spiritually speaking. That was weird, but why would he go to you? Did you guys- do you guys know each other? Yes, with the amazing spiral ringlets. <laughs> Did he tell you anything? He confided in me quite a bit. Uh-huh. What? What? He seemed to appreciate having someone to talk to, and he knew I couldn't tell anyone what he said. What? You could tell me. Oh, Sam. You know I can't do that. Tarot reader client confidentiality. I don't correct things the murder victim's name is Dorito. Okay, we're going with Dorito. Her name is now Dorito. So she will only talk to Oscar. I need to write this shit down, actually. I have meds and what's coming. I don't know what this was for. So Bronwyn. We'll talk to Asuka. I have to become Oscar for Bronwyn. Okay, I visited Bronwyn and Violet and Lexi, and now I need to visit Rain. Sam, what can I do for you? God, I don't trust you. <laughs> do you ever tarot... Was it tarot tasm? A closet? Where were you before August? Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travelers is... <laughs> what? Let's put a pin in this one, Sam. No? Please tell me? Travelers? Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. Okay, so I need to become Bronwyn for you. What, what's his name? Rain, I think. A Ray or something. I need to become Bronwyn. Terrotasm. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I couldn't see the last part of the word. Lexi you mentioned you're here to do a job. We're trying to save people. It's not working. <laughs> the sass. I said we're trying. That's all you're doing. We have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. It didn't work for Dorito. How do you get Dorito's name from the tarot? We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. Are you guys out of your fucking minds? In a Ouija board? It's Lexi's thing. No wonder she's so flaky. I don't she's possessed. Near them, but in this case, it did help. She's possessed. She gotta be. Couldn't use a Ouija on its own? No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time, it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Because it says she's hot or something. Tell me more about the Ouija board. 
once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. <coughs> it spelled out the rotor. How does it work? Tell me, don't show me. Ouija's way more legit than tarot. <laughs> Just... This is going to sound weird. Uh -huh. um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. Exactly. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. And dead. A time traveler who died here. A time traveler who died? What? <laughs> time travel is real? Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. Oh god, we're doing this. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities... Oh jeez, there we, we go. We must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. There we go. Alright. <laughs> I'm a shape-shifting detective. It can't be that far out of possibility. I could change my form and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go to my room. I'm gonna become... Do I want to become Oscar? Your Oscar. Can we get names? I'm Oscar. Oh, there we are. Is there anything else I can do? Why? What's wrong with my end table? Why is it leaning? <laughs> Return to... S leave. I'm still Oscar, right? Yeah, I want to go to... Bronwyn. Is she not here? What the hell? Is anybody here? <laughs> Lixie also has a magic eight ball, <laughs> but it confuses her. Oscar Wainwright, what a surprise. Hi. Wasn't expecting to see you. Don't know why we got any we're getting a foot shot, but hey. I have nothing to say to you. Uh, can't visit anybody else. Yeah, she's not there. Nobody else is there. I'm gonna go to my room, because that didn't work. <laughs> nice feet. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm. Why is this Bron leaning? Okay, it <laughs> won't let me see Bronwyn. Rain. Oh crap, oops. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. For some reason I thought that was a Hi. selection I'm for the Bronwyn. rooms. I'm Bronwyn. Okay, leave before I mess up. Did it rain? Hi. Why are you tell Sam about Birmingham? What did you tell the police you were doing last night? What what did you tell them? I told them the truth. That I was in my room. Okay, he's telling the truth. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. I kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. Why should we do another reading? The police think it's me, don't they? Why should we do You already told us. Eight o'clock. Ron, are you okay? It's just a lot with the murder. Yeah, you can tell me about that. Well, what can I tell Sam that you haven't already? You know Sam likes a fact check. Yeah. Detectives like the fact check, so let me fact check. I don't really know Sam. But if you're sure, then I guess I'm sure. There we go. Easy peasy, bye. Can I talk to everybody else? I have a I'm problem truly sorry about with I my room see you here last night. I'm I oh. I'm truly sorry about I didn't really know her. I saw her pictures in the newspaper. Uh-huh. I can't remember what for right now. I didn't see you here last night. Yeah, where were you last night, lady? What are you implying? I'm implying that you weren't here. It's just suspicious. It is suspicious, Violet. Does anyone really care that Dorota is dead? Wow. <laughs> Do you care? That was kind of... Hmm. 
Lexi. Oh, Bron, I'm so glad you're here. We need to talk. Yeah, we do need to talk. Tell me. There's something wrong. What's wrong, liar? No one can hear us, right? I mean, I'm assuming this room isn't bugged. Although, knowing Violet, there's probably cameras everywhere. Why would she have cameras you think everywhere? Violet's a voyeur. Probably. I don't know. She has that look about her, don't you think? Like she knows something she's not letting on. Well, yeah, she does have that look. I wouldn't be surprised if there's cameras hidden in the wardrobe. Is there? What have you got to hide? Nothing. Though I'd rather she didn't see me dancing around in my underwear. I only do that for people I love. Okay. Do you love? Do you love me? Mm, that's a weird question. Get rid of it. Let's not do that. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, we're not doing that. Anyway, we need to talk about our alibi. What about our alibi? These people are going to be so messed up after you leave. <laughs> Can I be in Dorito's will? I need to inherit her undercrackers. I know you said it would be better if we said we were together. But lying about your alibi, that's pretty serious. Oh, she is lying about it. Are you it. sure it was a good idea? Bronwyn's lying about her alibi. No, lying makes things worse. Bronwyn, where were you? Bronwyn. Liar. There we go. Completely did not spell her name right. Did this woman seriously ask if you loved her? No, I was supposed to ask if she loves me, which I feel like that was out of place. Because she said she dances around in her underwear in front of people that she loves, and then I would come back with, do you love me? It's kind of, it's not the place, it's not the place for that. We should, no. Lying makes things worse. It does make things worse. Then why'd you tell me to do it? We could have just told the truth. That's true. Sorry. What if they find out we're lying? They won't find out. They won't find out. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. I promise. Okay. I guess we just got to stick with our story. No, damn it. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, she believes that they're sticking with the story. I should become Lexi and go to Bronwyn. Go to my room. Become Lexi. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, I'm Lexi. You do sound as confused as she does. As flirting goes, it's a strong move, but presumably she danced in her undercrackers for Bronwyn. Leave. Dorota had a boyfriend. We're not asking about the alibi? Oscar. The guy I met this morning? Yeah. The one I told you about. Yes. She's flaky. This is fine. What did he want? Answers. Reassurance. Forgiveness. Forgiveness? Do you think he killed her? Not considering what he asked me to do. What did he ask you to do? What? 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 No details. What? What did he ask? Nah, jeez. Is it rain? Hi. Hello. I feel sad for Oscar. Yeah, I'm so sad for Oscar. Bronwyn said to stay away from him and the family. We're drawing too much attention to ourselves. We won't be able to finish our job. What? Job? Job? What's our job? I forgot. Are you wearing a wire? You know why we're here. Don't make me say it. But say I, it. I forgot. <laughs> He's going to be suspicious. So I won't do it. Or I'll do it. No. Stop being silly. Is he flirting? Ooh. <laughs> wow. Ah. Ew. Wonder if I can be Bronwyn and visit Oscar. <laughs> can I be Jinx? Hi. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Yep, good for you. You're Bronwyn. Now let's let's get in a cab. Hey, look, cab. Go to Oscar. Didn't expect you to come back. Have you contacted Dorota? Oh, that's what you wanted me to no. do. Not no. yet. No. Can I say not yet? I want to say not yet. Oh wait, did she say she did? 
She didn't give any details. Well, so you've just come to see me. I'm sorry the police ignored our prediction. Do you get on with Dorota's family? I'm yeah, sorry this one. Apologies. Loosen him up a little bit. Let's get into that brain. It's okay. Just how did you know? How did you come up with a name and then she's gone? She's not gone. She's waiting to pass. How could someone even get into Dorota's bedroom? Uh, this one. The usual way? The front door. Like, it's a townhouse and she's on the third floor. There's so, three floors? Other than teleporting or a big ladder. That's the only way. Okay. Do you get on with Dorota's family? Yeah, do you get on? Does, does that mean get along? <laughs> not really. Especially not now. I convinced I got her into the wrong crowd or something. Hmm. Am I really a bad influence? No, you're yes. fine. No. Thanks, Bronwyn. Probably. Oh, God. I know it's a bit soon, <laughs> but maybe we can grab <laughs> a coffee sometime? Yeah. <laughs> just, just to chat about things. Yeah. No, thanks. Yes, that would be nice. I'm gonna say yes, though. I'm gonna mess up so many lives. I like you, Bronwyn. Yeah, okay. How about soon? How about tonight? Okay. I, I can come to the guest house. Uh, I, I'll, no, I'll meet you here. Maybe another time then. Yeah. You're not really a bad influence. You're not terrible, I think. I don't know. But you're moving on really quickly. Your girlfriend was murdered yesterday? Jeez. <laughs> That's okay. I'm used to the abuse. Um, hey, maybe we could hang out together after all. Sure. She, whatever, fine. We'll see. That's great. I'll be over soon. Just got a few things to clear up here. Return to the guest house and wait for the date. Okay. And <laughs> jail him. Hi. Hey. Hello. Yeah, coming in. Sorry, I'm not used to dating so soon. Okay. I'm actually not in the mood anymore. It's wait, am I really it's are okay. we just we can take it slowly. <laughs> you got a date after all. I don't think it's a date. I think this is a booty call. Oh, um I, I wasn't sure I was thinking on doing anything, you know, physical. Oh, never mind. Get up on the bed. <laughs> Get on the bed. It's Get okay. Up. We it's can okay. talk. We can talk. Just sit on the bed. Thanks, Bronwyn. Still trying to make sense of it all. I noticed I've got some Earl Grey in the hallway. Uh -huh. That sounds a bit rude, but I'd really like some if you wouldn't mind. I can totally sure, right get it for Actually, you. Sure, I'll be right back. Hopefully, I don't run into anybody. Oh, jeez, now I'm panicking. Oscar wants to leave a stain on that nice carpet. Where am I going? Still Bronwyn. Hi, I need tea. <laughs> Are you in Bronwyn's room or yours? I don't know. It didn't really show the room. It's probably mine. Is the date over? Hi, do you have tea? <laughs> I'm looking for tea. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk to me. Go to your room. I wanted to talk to him. He just... Ah, what happened? Uh, hail a cab, visit Oscar. <laughs> what the heck happened? Was that the end of it? I wanted... Yeah, he didn't say anything. Can I visit Chief as Bronwyn? Miss Castle. More unexpected pleasures. <laughs> what did Dorota's boyfriend say about me? I was nowhere near Dorota last night. Let's not do that. No, because I don't know if she did it or not. Who's this driver? 
He's like, hey, do you mind giving me some tea? And then he left. Okay. Uh, go back to my room. I will- I won't become Jinx. Hi, I- <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. I'm the Chief. The Chief doesn't know you're a shapeshifter? I- He does. He knows I'm a shapeshifter. I'm just surprised that he didn't immediately guess that I would be there at somebody else's body. Is Sam still questioning me? Do I need to bring up Mr. Hedges again? Mr. Hedges? Are you threatening me? Who is Mr. Hedges? Are you, Are you threatening me? Excuse me? Of course not. We just agreed that with the med Simon stuff like this might get out. Are you two dating? Remember? Are you two? Are you two having a thing? Is that it? And then she left. You have a recognizable knock, Chief Dupont. I'll remember not to answer next time. Do you know Dorota's boyfriend? Yeah, do you know the boyfriend? I've met him once, yes. Just the once? Just once. Unless I've got a body double walking around. Yes, just the once. Why would you we have a body double? You'll need to ask him if you want the juicy details. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Even though he's not allowed to be doing this, I'm still doing it. <laughs> oh, he's not there. Better for him to assume that the person isn't you so he doesn't accidentally reveal anything. True. The not booty call dissipated. I have no idea what happened. Maybe I got him tea and they had a chat and then he left? Chief Dupont, there's been loads of people coming around asking questions. I don't even know half of them. Did Dorota collect coins? No, we can't talk about the coin. No! Don't talk about the coin. Said Rain might be worth investigating too, but he didn't have an alibi. What about the other one? Lexi. You can check her out, too. Doesn't seem capable. <laughs> it doesn't seem capable. Check her out, too? Check her out, too. Yeah, check her out. Do something. I am ruining this investigation. I'm not sure I'll be able to wrangle my way into all of the bedrooms tonight, but I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So does Chief have Oscar doing a little bit of investigating as well? That's why he's like, I like you. Let's hang out. So if I turn to Lexi and I go to him as Lexi, is he going to try to get into her room too? Booty call. That is, that is probably what it was. Visit Violet. Okay, Violet doesn't want to see Lexi. She is annoying. Don't blame her. Ronwin. Hey. Nothing. Let's go to Rain. Hey. Weirdo. Let's go to Oscar. See if Oscar wants to hang out. This poor Cabby. Oscar wasn't. No. Oscar doesn't want to hang out. Well, darn. Boo coffee calls. Go to my room. Can I become anybody else? I could become her and visit the chief. See what he says. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Darn it. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm... Bronwyn. Yeah, so you say. Uh, go back to Violet. Nobody needs to be Rain. Nobody wants to be Hello. Rain. I'm Violet. Yes. I'm Violet. And then exit. Bronwyn? Her feet were bare. Gross. Put those dogs away. I 
changed your sheets last night and you weren't here. Yeah. Yeah, I did. And they were gross. That's impossible. I was in that room praying the entire time. And those sheets have definitely not been changed, I can assure you. Are you trying to frame me? No, I'm just double checking. And uh, hail a cab, visit the chief. Violet. Hi. Sam knows about Mr. Hedges. Who's Mr. Hedges? <laughs> He's gonna be mad. I'll handle it, Violet. Just get back to the guest house. Unless something else you need. Oh, it's Mr. Hedges! <laughs> Oscar not there. Nobody wants to see Violet. Alright. Uh, go to the guest house. I need to become myself. Go to my room. Become me. Because what's his face supposed to tell me about something else? <laughs> so great at details. Rain. He's supposed to tell me. Am I done? Did I do everything? Hello? Nobody has anything to say to me. How about the booty call? <laughs> Can I ask him about the date? Tell me about the Ouija board. It's Lexi's. Yeah. I like to think it works the way most metaphysical things work. Hmm. Through energy. What metaphysical things? Tarot cards, runes. Runes now. Boards. Jeez. They're just devices for asking questions and receiving answers. But energy is what powers them. Okay. You should go to bed. It's been a long night. Rain. I think I already came to you and you wouldn't speak to me even though she said it was fine for you to tell me and you're not telling me and I don't know why. Oh, hey. Why did you lie about your alibi? Tell me about... Yeah, tell me about the Ouija board. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Yes. Cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? Okay. But where is the spirit world? Uh, There's planets and stars in space. Okay. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. Uh huh. Go on. We're so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Sure. Yeah. But I'm wishing I wasn't <laughs> hooked on your every word. Oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Hours? Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. Oh, just hours? That doesn't seem... Yeah, that makes no sense. Because you said it was really far away, right? The sun takes... The sun... The light of the sun takes eight minutes to get here. And you're saying that the spirit world is even further away than that. And you're also telling me that... It takes hours for us to get a message instead of, I don't know, years? Because the stars that we see have already died and exploded. Forever ago. Wow. I know. Mind blowing. You're impressive. Why'd you lie about your alibi? I didn't. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Yes. So much trouble. That depends on why you lied. Ron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was locked in doing phone readings, so she's alright. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was, though. Of course, my heart hopes die. Rain didn't have anything proving his thing, either. So why are you freaking out? He's sticking to his story. You're lying. Hmm. Traveler? That's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? She is so defensive. Rain told me about it. Oh, did he now? Well, then. You know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How's it feel? It feels pretty good. Cheeky? You're cheeky. Are you flirting with me? Gross. No, no, I'm not doing this, no. God, I'm such a 
such a bad judge of character. Just ignore me. You really are. <laughs> You're bad at a lot of things. Good God, girl. Lexi. Hail a cab. It's seven o'clock, and here's the latest August update. Okay. Chief Dupont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following yes. the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Whilst he stresses there is no immediate threat to the community at large, residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. We are looking. Ms. Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom home last night. Yes. Poe, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. And you talked to the mom. To all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. Also this in the was news, a murder. Emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh, uh, no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. Oh, I'm God. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, jeez. Well. Poe and Monroe. Ugh. They are obnoxious. Keep investigating. I want to visit Chief. Any more news on Oscar Wainwright? Um... I don't know if I'm going to say that. What do we know? Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. You say Bronwyn and Lexi's alibis don't add up. Yeah. Apparently, Lexi used a Ouija board to get Dorota's name. Uh-huh. The tarot readers mentioned Birmingham. You're looking into it. Yes. There's some talk about a traveller, whatever that is. Yep. Oscar's not a suspect. He was playing football last night with lots of witnesses. Okay. According to Oscar, Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet, uh -huh. which is strange. Is it, though? Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. And finally, you pull the name Zach Weston from somewhere, saying he's the town photographer? Yep. Well, I've never run into him. Still, I guess I'm not in the papers that much. That's it. Thanks, Chief. Oscar was playing football, by the way. Yep. That's what you told me, too. I'm not a suspect. I still have to go through it, Chief. My God. Who's on your suspect list? Just the tarot readers. All of them. No one else is remotely suspicious compared to that. All of them. And what's up with the... Uh, uh, um, uh, Violet? What, what are you two doing? I'm nosy. <laughs> I'd add Violet. Any reason for saying that? She doesn't remember. She doesn't know where she was Monday. I'll look into it. Well, I would like to know. Yeah, tell me. Tell me things. Who is Mr. Hen Hedges? Violet told you about Mr. Hedges? Well, yes. <laughs> Mr. Hedges was one of August's homeless. Actually, probably our only homeless person. We're pretty well off here. Well, I wish I could be well off in a town. Oh, he's putting on his hat. <laughs> Look at that. His detective days. Is that his actual name? <laughs> no, we called him Mr. Hedges because well, that's where we found him. It's suspicious, isn't it, bruv? <laughs> what happened? I asked Violet to put him up one night. And of all the nights he could have died... He croaked it at the guest house. Oh. And then you put him in the ground? No, of course not. That's what Violet thinks. But I just drove him off to the morgue and had him processed. Uh, don't tell Violet that, though. We need her on our side. Okay. They're lying about their alibis. They are, though. Figures. Got any proof? Um. Lexi says she was on a talk app thing. So I think I have enough? Good work, Sam. I'm impressed. I like to think I have enough. He's just gonna believe me because I don't know if I have enough. I like to think that's enough. Look at that computer. Okay. I'm gonna go to the next chapter. It's seven o'clock and here's the latest August update. Seven? Chief DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following Skip. the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Oh, jeez, fine. Whilst he stresses there is no it. immediate threat to the community at large, 
Residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom home last night. Poe, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly Skipped. awful. Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. Skip. Also in the news, Skip. emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street. Yeah, 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 I know. There are no reports of any serious Love the injuries, water marbling. but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. Can we talk more about tarot? Anywhere. That's seven o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I pulled out the book for a reason. <laughs> we need more tarot cards mentioned. I would like to visit Zach. Let's go straight to Zach. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment online. You let me in, but you're closed. Are you Zach Weston? Yes. Hmm. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> I'm working with Chief DuPont. Nope, no I'm not. The Shaw's hired me. The Shaw's? Oh. You mean that girl who got killed? Yeah, you took what her picture. Her Dorothy? Dorito? Have you ever met Dorito? I see a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good with names. I'm good with neither. Wait. Dorota, Dorota, I remember now. Yes. That look on your face, I don't like it. You photographed Dorito. For the August Chronicle. Uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. Okay. Did she come to the studio? No, I went to her house, along with the reporter. Really? It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. <laughs> natural habitat. <laughs> Never met Dorito, but I have met Burrito. Ooh. Dorito and Burrito together? Sounds great. So you know where she lived? If you ask me to drive there without my sat-nav, no. Your what? Your GPS? Was that the only time you met Dorito? No, actually, I've been running a special offer on portraits since she came in for a studio session. Wait there. Okay, it's gonna show me the pictures. Okay. There's photos here. There are the cello. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now this one's in color. Beautiful hair. Oh. Legs wrapped around. <laughs> uh-huh. Another one here. Ooh, hang on. What? Do you see what I see? Uh Um She's not playing? What about their cousin Frito? Frito. Frito's from Florida. We don't talk about Frito. What, what do you see? I don't see it. Nothing. She's just a very attractive girl. That's all. You're being weird. Did you take any other pictures of her? What do you mean? Any, and you know what I mean. Violet told me. Violet needs to mind her own business. I didn't want to mention them out of respect for the dead. You've heard of boudoir photography. Yeah, that one. Yes. Uh, no? Tell me, what is it? It's all very tasteful. Boudoir photographs are all about leading the eye and letting the imagination do the work. Most photographers mess it up. It's not supposed to resemble a Victorian whorehouse. Okay. Do you know who what who who that was gonna go to? Yeah, she didn't say. Her boyfriend, I assume. Hmm. Would you uh, like to see them? Sure. <laughs> Getting his good graces. As you can see. It's all very artistic. Gold coin? Rotary There's a gold metal. chain. Is that a gold chain? Lit up the front of the camera. <laughs> Want to 
see the video. She has a gold necklace. So how was she strangled? Where was this? Was this in her bedroom? Sure. Here they are. Oh, no, that one. <laughs> this is the one. So she's on Here her bed. Okay, pearls. Any gold coins? You were There's in more. her room. What, was this in the studio? This guy has killer vibes for sure. Show me. I'm looking for gold. This is the stuff. Did she strangle herself accidentally? Yeah, it definitely looks like she's in the breath play. Why is she running away from you? She's, um... Mm -hmm. How you say, um... Acting? Was she? Uh, so, uh, where were you last night? Here. I'm usually here most nights. Got any way of proving that, buddy? Can anyone confirm that? Only the roof rats. I'm getting the idea of what she choked on. <laughs> At least for a couple seconds. <laughs> Rough. Friends. Yeah. You're friends with Violet? I know Violet very well. And what does that mean? How well? Violet takes it very well, actually. You are a creep. I like him like that. Oh, jeez. With frosty exterior comes a soft, warm center. Oh, jeez. You're sleeping with her. I'm sorry my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. No. Yes, we have. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> yeah, you're nasty. Okay. Hey, Chief, Violet's having sex with the photographer. Are you jealous? If you have anything else on Zach Weston, let me know. Yeah, he's a creep. He was taking pictures of Dorito. And I'm all for a good boudoir picture, but who would have thought? I don't know. A strong connection between those two men. Maybe they were for somebody else? Well, unless they were for Oscar, I don't know. Unless there's someone else about to come out of the woodwork. I don't know yet, Chief. I'm working on it. He, Zach says he was in the studio last night. I don't want to tell him that. Because I don't know for sure. Okay, now it's really dark. Good God, it's only seven? Let's visit Oscar. Hey, you're on the way. How'd your date with Bronwyn go? Do you know Zach? No. Who's that? He's a photographer. He took photos. Never heard of him. He took photos of what's her face. Did she show you her her fancy slutty pictures? Who what? Boudoir photos. Yeah. She sent some private photos to me by foot. Do you mean them? Can I see them? Yeah, yeah, I'll put them in an album for you. No. So they are not the same? Because that's what I wanted to check. God. How'd you do with Bronwyn go? I'm going to ask. <laughs> How did you hear about that? Anyway, it wasn't a date. I was doing a favor for Chief Dupont. It only lasted a few minutes. Yeah, no. What favor? That's what she said. <laughs> ah, what favor? Are you working with him or not? But if you don't want to tell you, then I'm not gonna. Yeah, fine. I guess I gotta go to the chief as you. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> ah, 
missed opportunity. Oh well. Visit the guest house. Violet. Hello, Violet. How you doing? Let's talk about Zack again. Uh, do we really have to? You are sleeping with him, but at least you didn't lure him to the ocean and feed him to a Cthulhu monster at the bottom of it. So I'm proud of you for that. That's called character development. Says you're sleeping together. How vulgar. Yes, I suppose that is what he'd say. But I've never let him lay a finger on me. He says we're in a relationship, but he doesn't act like it. He says that you're sleeping together. What? Why doesn't he act like he it? He thinks he's irresistible to women. Is he? Because I, I... He's gross. No. <laughs> okay, well that was fun. Oh, jeez. Hello, child. Okay. Hey, there is a child in the hall. Okay, you don't care. She does not care about the random child just running around. Sam, look, I, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. I've got to pay for a job somehow. Lexi's locked in till late too. I, I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? Okay. Unavailable. Go to Lexi. We've got to stop meeting like this. Seriously though, Sam, I'm working. Can't it wait? Just give me to eight, okay? Okay, then Rain's not working and he could tell me about the travelers and the whatever. You're not working. Why aren't you working? So, this. Fine, Sam. Yes, tell me. Birmingham. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl, Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. What thing? Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. It's... Three, to be exact. The Traveler wanted three. So the Traveler is a creature that... You're trying to stop or some why are you wearing are just slippers they kind of look comfy you should ask bronwyn she's the one that knows about rights i just know it normally involves three and all three share a common attribute south african tell me about the travelers i guess you might call them demons in as much as they can get inside us they come from other worlds they come from other worlds. Kind of, mm. yeah. Mm. <laughs> Quantum physics is real, didn't you know? Oh, jeez. That again. Um, there are many universes. Here we go. In technical terms, a traveler is a trans-dimensional being far more superior to us. Okay. In as much as they can choose which reality to hang out in. We just get this one. Travelers can inhabit us? Yes. Disturbingly. It's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. Mm. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. In simple terms? They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. So you think the murderer is a traveler? Yes, probably. The tarot doesn't just sat nav us to normal murders. Do you know Zach Weston? He's kind of a weirdo. I met him yesterday, doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh no. Um, he did mention the rota. Yes, he did. What about her? He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? Oh. It was the road to shore. Ah. That's when he did the filming. 
Interesting. He probably did it. No one else is available to talk to. Already visited Violet. And I don't have anything to say to you. Don't know why you're giving me that look, ma'am. I didn't do anything to you. I would like to... Can I become the child? <laughs> I could become him and talk to her. I'm just questing. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. It's not that good. You need to work on that charisma. Zach. What are you doing here? She's so happy when I she don't saw him. See you. Why don't you want anyone to see me? Everyone's talking. Are you, are you happy Dorota's is dead? Why don't you want? Why don't you want any? Yeah, exactly. Wait. You're the one who said we shouldn't be seen together. What are you doing here? And why would you I not want to be? Sure we were still okay. You don't want to be seen with her, of all people. What did you do? Her. What did you say to Sam? Everyone's talking about Dorota. I know. But I suppose people like that attract trouble. <laughs> Jeez. People like what? Is that people, people like, like what? what? Homewreckers. Oh. Anyway, I hope you didn't just come here to talk about Dorota. Are you happy Dorota's dead? Are you happy she killed her? No, she did not. I didn't say that. No. But we both know what Dorota was like. She practically threw herself at you. So you know about that. She didn't throw herself at me. Why do you think that? Why do you think the boudoir sessions? Mm-hmm. Some girls get the wrong idea. I saw how she was looking at you. She wanted it. And? You saw you you saw the photos. Well now we know why she was so snippy about the photos. Yep. That was her man, apparently. And he doesn't want to be seen with her. Are you out of your mind? You saw the photos. I've seen all your photos, Zach. All of them. I wish I would have seen all the photos. visit him. Zach, let me stop you there. Um, <laughs> you are one creepy fellow. <laughs> now, I, I don't know what you had going on with Dorota, but I don't want anything to do with it. That's funny. Do not come back here. Please. I was expecting him to not even be there. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> visit Oscar. Damn. See, that's what I was expecting. I'm not going to visit the chief. It's hilarious that he called him out for being creepy because yes he is and rain so are you honestly i could become her hello i'm violet i starting to like rain <laughs> i'm violet leave i'm going to visit the studio hopefully he's there visit zach well hello gorgeous you are just Nah. Did you hear about Dorota? Everyone in town's heard. She's a local celebrity now. Local ce Were you sleeping with her? Local celebrity. Local Famous for being murdered. That shall she be remembered anyway. I came over last night, but you weren't here. Well, that explains why there was no answer when I called you. I was definitely here. Hmm. <laughs> Darn. There's a chief. Nope, he not. Where's chief? Where in the world does he go, Oscar? It's a good thing nobody catches me. That name... Didn't Rain say it? Yeah. Guineas. 
Or Jenny's. Go to my room. Uh. Huh. Return to Sam or. I mean, I can't think of anything. Oh, him. And see Jenks. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? No, you're kind of useless. Anyway. Because he said he was doing a favor for... Helicab. For the chief. Sensing the thing with Bronwyn went badly. <laughs> why did you put me up to it? Yeah, why? I need all hands on deck. You're a hand. At least I thought you were. Nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened. Never mind. At least you tried. Is there anything else I can do? No, you don't. I'll keep up my end of the bargain. Make those speeding tickets go away, though. Technically, you'd have more points than a hedgehog if I kept them. And if I do catch you speeding in August again, Oscar, instant ban. Capiche? Instant ban. Yes. 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 Okay. Is it Zach? No, nope, he ain't gonna be there. Guest house. I got nothing else. Everyone else is busy, right? Nope, he's not there. Go to the room. Uh, I'm going to return to Sam because I got nothing else. Oops. <laughs> Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Turn to Sam. Then exit, and then I'm gonna go see the Chief. Leave. Yellow cab. It's oh, got and it. It's time for another August update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Ms. Maybe. Shaw's strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last okay. night in found what the by chief 10. is calling a puzzling crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? It is, that yeah. that poor boy. A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket. Or a cap. Or wear the jacket in the cab. Haha. <laughs> That's 8 o'clock with Poe You're so funny, Poe or Monroe, whoever. Next chapter, because I don't want to see that again. Oh my god. Hello. I've got news. We've done a reading. Okay. I have my book. Oh shit. For Five of Swords. That's the same card as yesterday. For who? Who's it reading for? So Five of Swords. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Knight of Wands. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of pulling all three again? One in 474,552. I know. I get asked a lot. Bet it's a ten of swords. Ten of swords. This is happening again. There's going to be another murder. Then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Munro. The radio lady? Okay. And I'm looking for the, the what, the Knight of Wands? Ba ba ba.
Wands represent action, passion, creativity, sexuality, and movement in the world. Okay. I'm not really seeing a Knight of Wands. I'm seeing Ace of Wands, and then it goes two, three. Ten of Wands, and then it goes to Swords. Two of Cups. Oh, the court cards? Maybe? Oh, maybe it's in here. Nope, don't say it. No, okay. Anyway, Ellis. Go see Ellis. You must be Sam. Hi. You heard of me? That's so kind. I just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. First Dorota, now me. Red hair. Weird. It's like there's a type. Did you know Dorito? Yes. We were... Friends. Friends. I for long. Only a few weeks. Friends or roommates. How'd you meet her? We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing. Cello, you know? I guess... We talked for a little while, and then she asked me for a drink after the show. What happened after the show? After we'd had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. Uh-huh. I thought we were just going to chat, watch mm. a movie, that sort of thing. Uh-huh. And then she kissed me. Right, knew it. I was so shocked. Called it. She was so attractive. So, I kissed her back. They were roommates. You guys were in a relationship? This is just between us, right? Of course. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. Definitely. Sure. We fooled around. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But... Dorota was my friend. Okay. And I liked making her happy. Okay. Fooled around? I'm not going into detail, Sam. Darn it. We pledged each other. Okay. Multiple times. Was there breath play? And did you, I don't know, have a coin for some reason? Did you know that she had a boyfriend? Oscar. Yeah. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't... She didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind. But she did. So I told her if he wanted to get sexual, then maybe she should try something else. With Oscar? I said some guys like to watch. So... Tell him it would be sexy if he could look, but he couldn't... Touch. In the, from the closet. Know, it worked. We think the murderer watched her in the same way. The killer was in her wardrobe? What? Maybe. Well, then it had to be Oscar. He's the only one it could be. <laughs> Oscar was playing football. That doesn't make any sense. Then she was seeing someone else? Yes. No. Yeah. Someone she knew. Knew she'd be alone? A stalker? The photograph guy knew she'd be alone? Did Oscar ever meet you? I don't think so. We were very discreet. Okay, well... It was more fun that way. Oh my goodness. Darn, I didn't get to ask about the dress. Tell me about Poe! We're co-hosts. On the radio. Oh, <laughs> sorry. You know that already. Yeah, I hear um, you all the we've time. We've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. Is he another one of your friends? Where do I find him? 
He's on air at the moment, but he'll be finished at 8.30. Okay. Where were you last night? On air. We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Uh, but, 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 do you know Zach, the creepy photo guy? Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe. To promote the show. Turning to the boyfriend and seeing the creep. I think I don't think he was there. What do you think of him? He's fine. Creepy. He keeps asking me to pose for him. It's creepy. You know, without any clothes on. Creepy. He's a I creep. Say no. Creepy. Any idea who might want to hurt you? No. Sorry. I did have a strange dream last night, though. My life was playing on a TV screen. And every time I did something, another version of me started playing over the first. In the end, there were so many versions, it became a fog. Oh, God. It filled God. my lungs. I couldn't breathe. That's the whole... And then I woke up. What do you think that means, Sam? I think it's multiverses and all that stuff. Anyway, I had a dream that my car was on fire. That was fun. I also had a dream that I didn't go into work and then I was fired because I didn't go into work. It means you're anxious about something. It means you hit a deep sleep phase. You're anxious. I don't know what. I mean... I'm anxious now. Maybe, maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. Yeah, it's predicting yours. Or mine. Yeah, it's probably yours. I will not protect you. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Just don't hurt me. Okay. Or let me get hurt. I'll see what I can do. Get a gun. Sam? You forgot your phone. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was so kind of you. No need to be like that, Visit Chief. Sam. Hi. Do me a favor. Go easy on Violet. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. She'll open up to me. What'd I do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. We've got a new target. Ellis Monroe. Ella said she was in a relationship with Dorota. Mm -hmm. She kissed the girl and she got liked it. <laughs> she told you where John Pope, or Poe, is going to be next. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Yeah, he's Bronwyn telling everybody. Lied about being together last night. Yes. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. Mm -hmm. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be a motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Yes. People would know that. That's it. What's her face knows? Because she was with Dorito. Kissed a girl and liked it. You know. Oh, he's not there. I can't tell her. Tell him that his girlfriend was cheating. <laughs> Don't squint at me. Monroe. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. Yes, she is. You, do you, have you met her? Couple of times, promo shoots, that sort of thing. Uh-huh. Anything else? No. She is my type, though. Type of model. I'll ask her about the boudoir shoot again. Gross. God, you're gross. Don't like you. Nasty, nasty person. Okay, Violet. Hello, oh, what's happening? Who's she? Excellent work. Gold star for you. <laughs> oh, hello. This is my goddaughter, Sophia. Okay. She's only nine, and she's a maths genius. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I have to pop to my room to get something. Be nice to her while I'm gone. I'm a stranger. Otherwise, I might have to smother you in your sleep. That's... You shouldn't leave your goddaughter alone What's with a stranger. Name? What the hell is this? 
I'm the boogeyman. <laughs> Sam. I'm Sophia. Pleased to meet you. Okay. Do you want to know a secret? Sure. Violet was taken by aliens in a ship. Doesn't want anyone to know. Are you sure it Sorry wasn't Cthulhu? Sophia, your mother will be here for you soon, so run along and wait. <laughs> now, Sam, how can I help you? Uh, you know Ellis? Of course. Poe and Monroe. She's on the radio. <laughs> yeah, she is. On the radio. Anyway, aliens? She has a wicked imagination for her age. Okay. Is that why you're taking pills? <laughs> I was seeing and hearing things that weren't there. That's why I'm taking pills. Okay. Have you told anyone else about this? I needed to confide in someone, so I told Chief Dupont. Just Chief Dupont. Yeah, me. And now you, apparently. Yeah, me. Do you think you were abducted last night? No, oh, gosh, she's disappearing. Are you, about this again? you understand, every time you mention abduction, it opens up a vault of crushing memories that I'd rather stay locked up. Did anybody else see you? No. Okay. Not even the moon. Because you were on an alien ship. Okay, leave. Let me not be too hard on her. Bronwyn. Keep your feet down. Thank you. Were you said you knew about rights? A little bit. About something? What did you want to know? Uh, what What's a right? Oh, they did say that there had to be three, and they had to have a similar trait. So, first girl, red hair. Second girl, red hair. And Violet has red hair. So, following something. A right can take many forms, but from what we know about these travelers, it seems to be performing some kind of coming-of-age ceremony. What? Coming-of-age? Yes. A rite of passage. Running havoc in our dimension is rewarded in theirs. Is it? Not fair, is it? So murder is rewarded? Why were there three victims before? Three is a powerful number. There's a divine balance to it in our universe, anyway. But maybe it doesn't mean anything where the traveler's from. Maybe three is just the carry on limit for interdimensional travel. There's a severe lack of blue hair. There is. There's no blue hair. It's prejudice, is what it is. You know, Zach? No. I can do a reading if you want. Sure. I got my book. Hmm. What'd you pull? Chariot. Is Zack a suspect? He's my suspect. I'm sensing there's a lot of tension, pent up frustration, like he's trying to keep everything together and if he can just do that. Sorry, that's not much help to you, is it? What number is the chariot? <laughs> There's a lot in the major arcana. <laughs> yeah. Sam could have blue hair. Zach is making sure they're <laughs> real redheads for the traveler. The Hermit Justice Wheel of Fortune The Devil Did I skip Chariot somehow? There's a tower again Oh god, not the tower There's Judgment The Star Star, the moon, the sun, judgment. Where is the world 
God damn it. I somehow skipped it. Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit, Strength. Ah, there it is. Chariots. Drive, Transition, Execution, Willpower, Perseverance, Progress, Movement, Adolescence, Exertion, Independence, Velocity. I'm not seeing it. Determination, Triumph, Naive, Brave, Propulsion, Focus, and Unstoppable. How does that equate to suspects? Embodying rapid movement fueled by willpower, the chariot shows us the mountains we can move when we are determined to get shit done. Okay. So the weird visual is shown when the radio plays our tarot cards. Yeah. I noticed that too. It's also shifting. Tell me about Alice. I've heard on the radio, but other than that, I don't know anything about her. I want to help her. What's the connection? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Red hair. Although we can be sure of one thing. They're both redheads. Yeah, she sounded blonde on the radio, but Mercury called her as a redhead. Okay, I need your help. Yes, of course. Anything. I don't know with what. <laughs> Try to find out more from... Alright, keep an eye on Violet. Keep an eye on Violet. She might get kidnapped. Violet. This one. I've already been doing that, but sure. I'll keep at it. Okay, can you keep an eye on Violet? Maybe it'll feel sorry for me and finally put out. Oh, jeez. Sorry for asking for too much. My god. Didn't mean to. Oh, I just saw you. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot who you were. I don't want to tell her that. Hey, what's up, weirdo? Tell me about Ellis. Yes, I met her at the radio station. Really? You went there? Why did you go there? I was offering my services. What kind of services? Earning a living is tricky when you travel around as much as we do. And last time I checked, Violet wasn't offering us room and board for free. Tell me more about the this Br Birmingham. Birmingham, Bir it was Birmingham. A man called Yuri Harris. He worked as a butcher. He beheaded all three girls within hours of each other. And we couldn't stop it. Jeez. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. What happened to Yuri? The Butcher of Birmingham received three life sentences and won't be seeing the light of day anytime soon. We know it wasn't him, though. We know it was a traveler. Okay. Lucky for him that he only has three life sentences, huh? So what's the news about Ellis? I feel so useless sitting here. I want to help. Do you really want to help? Yes, please use me. Tell me what to do. Uh, I have a few options. Find out what you can. Oh, <laughs> put her in danger. Find out what you can from the board. But she's already doing that. We got it. Me and the spirit world are going to have a serious chat. I thought you were already. Time. Okay. I overestimated you. I won't make that same mistake again. All right, let me hail a cab. Is it Oscar? Okay, he's he's not there. He's somewhere. Didn't I already talk to you? God, you creepy weirdo. Jeez, already visited her. I can. Chief. Hey, what's up, Chief? But I was talking about aliens. What do you know about it? She thinks they're real. Maybe it's why she's taking pills. It's probably a bit more nuanced than that, but maybe. What do we know? We've got a new target, Ellis Monroe. Yes. Ellis said she was in a relationship with Dorota. Yep. She kissed a girl and she got like. Yep. She told you where John Pope or Poe is going to be next. Yes. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. Rain's confirmed he met Ellis at the radio station. 
Picking his next victim, maybe? Lexi's doing some investigating for you. As if that'll help. <laughs> Rain told you about the Butcher of Birmingham. It's a thing. Made an interesting read. Those tarot readers hang out with death. His explanation of it? It's all fairy tales, so I'm not getting involved. <laughs> Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got her hand. Has Violet told you about her brush with aliens? You seem far too interested in those kind of things. I'm a shapeshifter. He was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was Can I become Ellis? He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Can I... I guess I was. Can I become Ellis and visit Creepy Man? Will he try to murder me? You're only alive because we want you to be. Thanks. I can. Awesome. Hi, I'm Ellis. I'm Ellis. What's up with that dude? He's so rude. What's his name? I don't even know what his name is. He just said, you need to learn when to shut your mouth. <laughs> rude. So rude. I don't think anyone's gonna be here. I still wanna check. God, it's such an ugly thing. Okay, I'm gonna visit Creepy Man. Why? Nobody wants to talk to me. Chief? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Fine, I thought I was on to something. You should. Uh, I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. You suck at everything. Violet? Hey! I need to talk about Ellis Monroe. Why? What have you been doing with Ellis Monroe? What, what, what haven't I been doing? What have you heard? What have you heard? The tarot readers have predicted that she's the next victim. Do you think we should do something? Why? Want to fool around? <laughs> no. I do not. I don't think she meant that. Got more important things to do, Zach. Visit. Okay. I don't think the readers are going to be here except for what's his face. He's like, don't come by here again. I could try to visit what's her face. Go hail a cab. Zach. Hey. What are you doing here? You really shouldn't be alone Being with him. Being a naughty boy. I need to tell my previous partners. Good to know. I'm not one of them though, so unless there's anything else. You really Close should. Me. I mean if he would do it. Zach, please stop asking. It's not gonna happen. Gotta be a gross Just, uh, undo a few buttons. My yeah. god. <laughs> I'm gonna get this man thrown in jail, which is probably a good thing. Are you bullying me into taking my clothes off for you? That's sleazy. Just leave, Zach, before I call Chief DuPont. He just straight up called the police. Also, what buttons? And visits Chief. <laughs> Guest house. Hmm. Go to my room. Who do I need to be? I can be the chief and talk to her. Talk to Ellis. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Leave. Also talk to Violet. Nobody wants to see Zach. Nobody. Lord. Sorry, what? 
His name is Claude. <laughs> Chief, what a surprise to see you again. <laughs> why didn't you tell me Ellis was next? Yeah, why didn't you? But she did. I told you Dorota was first. And that didn't turn out very well, did it? Let's hope Sam does a better job than you did. <laughs> Damn. Oh, whoops. I already saw you. Sorry. Right. Nope, he's not here. He's praying again, I guess. Maybe to the traveler. See, her room looks so much better. Go to... Nope, hail a cab. Ellis? Chief DuPont. Thanks for calling in. Hey, you're safe! Just checking you're safe. At the moment, my heart's beating a thousand times a minute and I can't sit still. I Every can't. noise or knock okay. on the door makes me jump out of my skin. Okay. And I keep looking behind me. Okay. Is that safe? I don't... I can't help you with Why all that. I don't know, have you? What's really What's worrying you? really worrying? That you're just saying you're doing things when you're not actually doing anything. What's the plan, Chief Dupont? How do we stop this from happening? How do we stop me from dying? I mean, go home? <laughs> Lock your doors? Spend a night in jail. It'll be hard to reach you in jail. Zach sitting at the edge of the pool, making splashes with his feet. And some come hither eyes. Oh, God. You're welcome for that visual. Why did you have to share? You did not have to do that, Jojo. Go to your room. And I don't think I have anything for you. She's the new character. Will she talk to a psychic? Or a tarot card reader. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Leave. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Get out now before I call the police. <laughs> I didn't knock. Well, that's suspicious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why would I not knock? Jeez. What is wrong? Sam. Sam. Sam, what the hell? <laughs> that wasn't fair of the game. No. Am I done? I can't think of anything. He's a weirdo. I don't think he knows. How Did I speak to him? I don't think he was around to be spoken to. Oscar? Yeah, he's not here. And I'm missing something. Ugh. Chief! Don't give me that look. We've got a new target. Ellis Monroe. Yes. Alice said she was in a relationship with Dorota. Uh -huh. She kissed a girl and she liked it. She told you where John Pope, or Poe, is going to be next. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Uh -huh. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last Do I time. talk to him again? Rain's confirmed he Did met Alice at the radio station. Picking his next victim, maybe? Lexi's doing some investigating for you. Ooh, I could be Rain. As if that will help. Rain told you about the butcher of Because he met her. <laughs> Made an interesting read. Those tarot readers hang out with death. His explanation of it, it's all fairy tales, so I'm not getting involved. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but... No Thank, thanks, Chief. Damn it. There's no... Okay, okay gotta you go through it. Brush with aliens? You seem far too interested in those kind of things. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Okay, thanks, Chief. 
That was actually helpful. Go back to the guest house and become Rain and visit Ellis because they did meet each other. Good room, become him. This chief is Hello. less I'm bitchy Rain. than the other game's chief. He learned from his experience. He decided to be nicer. Kayla Cab. Haven't you done enough predicting my death? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. It's okay. I'm just kidding. I know it's not your fault. Well, unless you're the killer. Why would you Have let you me made in? A decision <laughs> about the show. What show? I think it's a no. Sorry. Oh. It's just the reading that you gave me the other day. I don't want to scare off the audience. Why would I scare off your listeners? Why would I scare off your listeners? What was the reading? Read. The reading you gave me. To show me what you could do. It was scarily accurate. Okay. What was accurate? That's what you want. You want to be right. Everything. My broken heart. The enveloping darkness. My beautiful death. You said it was just a metaphor. That it was just about transformation. But it's not. It's about somebody else's transformation. I'm to die, aren't I? Nah. Visit Zach. <laughs> Visit the chief. This cab driver is tired of me. Visit Oscar. Oscar's just not there. He's probably at work or something. Visit guest house. Uh, Violet. Hi. Who is Sophia? Yeah. You saw her, did you? I guess. She's my goddaughter. At that age where she overshares. <laughs> is she a ghost? Is she a ghost? <laughs> She's not going to have time to die with everyone popping in on her. Is she a ghost? What makes you say that, Rain? Is there something about her aura? It was just a question. What is it, Ray? I have a plan. Uh, do you have a plan? You do. Enlighten me. Maybe Ellis should stay with us. Ellis should stay with Chief Dupont. Maybe Ellis should stay with Chief Dupont. With his track record? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'd like to lock Ellis up, you know, for safety. That was my but idea. probably would break a couple of Geneva conventions, even if it was for her own good. Well, it was an idea. It was a plan. Hi, Rain. Did you miss me while I was gone? Oh, God. You're obnoxious. Uh, I'm honestly not going to try and worry about this one. We've told Sam, and I think that's all we can do. Really? What's Sam going to do? Sam what do you do? expect Sam to do? I believe Sam is going to save Ellis. According to the Ouija, this could play out in a lot of different ways, but mostly saving Ellis. Where to say? What other ways? Ellis could run, Ellis could die, Ellis could be saved, mistaken identity, someone else dies. There's a lot of noise coming from the beyond. But it's not just a load of voices saying Ellis will die. Sam's got this. Okay. You're just seeing, she's seeing a whole bunch of different choices. So I am. What's his face? Let me be her. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, Rain. Can somebody Hi, fix my nightstand, please? It's leaning. It's leaning so much. Ella sounds like she'd go along with being locked up, probably. We change it to Alice and save her by dying instead. That is a plan. Nothing to say to her. Let's go with Bronwyn. Lexi Corn. How thin are these walls? What do you mean the walls are thin? What? I can hear you screaming at your Ouija board. Last night too. I feel like I've heard your whole life story. What did you hear? Yeah, what did you hear? Does Sam like me? Is Violet a lesbian? Will Ellis die? Will Bromwen die? That last one, don't worry about that. Why not? <laughs> because you're immortal. Because you're... Oh, hi. 
I am Bronwyn MacLeod from the Clan MacLeod, and I am immortal. You silly badger. <laughs> but that's something that Lexi would say. I stopped caring about Dorito and started mourning <laughs> the Tulip Festival. Hey, hey, it's it's fine. It's postponed. Our job is so stressful. Yeah, I'm stressed. Tell me about it. Chasing around the unknown, trying to triumph good over evil, generally standing around helpless watching people die. Why do we do it? Brown one sort of rocks. She does. Why do we do it? For me? It's a common decency thing. Common decency to Hi, chase I'm demons. Did you know the earth was overrun by transdimensional evil? Want to help fix it? Sure. Transdimensional evil? You should know. She doesn't pay attention. It's fine. I'll read the manual, Lex. Yeah, she... <laughs> People are afraid of ghosts, zombies, and aliens. They never even think to consider the possibility that there are millions of universes, potentially with millions of predators, all far more evolved than we are. What are our chances of victory? Minuscule. But if we don't fight at all, zero. Okay. No need to yell at me. About to hail a cab. Chief! Oscar, he's just not there. Creepy! Sorry, we're closed. Why'd you let me in? Unless you're here for something else. Oh god, he's creepy. I'm a friend of Dorota's. Yeah! Dorota. Sorry about what happened. Dorota told me things about you. Can I come in? Can I come in? Uh, it's a bit late, but I think I can spare a few minutes. He's already sitting down. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Lexi. 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 I like it. Ugh. It's got an edge. Dorota says she knew you. Dorota, you're dating Violet, aren't you? Yeah, oh no. People aren't supposed to know that. Let's Dorota not. Dorota says she knew you. Yeah, she had a portrait session with me. Can I get you a drink? Oh, jeez. No, thanks. Yeah, sure. sure. Let's see if I get drugged. Oh, is it just water? No, is that- what is that? It's in a skull! This tequila? Are you giving me straight tequila? Do you not make drinks? That's enough. That's way too much. Here, I've only got vodka. Oh, it's vodka. You're old enough to drink, right? Can I get juice? Of course. Of course. You're not drinking? Just checking. You already poured it. I thought about dyeing your hair red. Mm. I think it would suit you. Mm-hmm. You're dating Violet. You're dating Violet, aren't you? Mm. No, we're just friends. Oh. That's not that's not what Violet thinks. Violet doesn't always see things clearly. It's fine. I know how to handle her. I bet you do. Doesn't see what clearly? What do you mean handle? What do you mean handle her. I know how to talk to her. She's a sweetheart when you get to know her. I know what you did to Dorota. Everyone knows British girls drink straight vodka, <laughs> do they? Hmm. Yeah. I didn't do anything to Dorota. You killed her. You seduced, you seduced her. her. You make it sound so sordid. Dorota <coughs> didn't do anything she didn't want. Sorry, that was loud. Well, then. It wasn't drugged, I guess. Or I didn't drink it. Like a smart person. Okay, so I'm Lexi. I can be Oscar. I don't know what I can get done as Oscar. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Did I already try Oscar? Is anybody around when I'm Oscar? Leave. Okay, I don't think anyone's around. 
Back to my room. Is this it? I was her. I was him. I was her. I was her. I think I was everybody. Return to Sam. Let's travel. Okay, I'm missing some chief. Well, don't roll your eyes. I've got a new target. Alice Munro. Alice said she was in a relationship with Dorota. She kissed a girl and she liked it. She told you where John Pope, or Poe, is going to be next. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. Rain's confirmed he met Alice at the radio station. Picking his next victim, maybe? Lexi's doing some investigating for you. As if that'll help. Rain told you about the Butcher of Birmingham. It's a yes. Thing. Made an interesting read. Those tarot readers hang out with the dead. His explanation of it? It's all fairy tales, so I'm not getting involved. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Violet told you about her brush with aliens? You seem far too interested. In Was I Violet? Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in I think the I need to be Violet. Last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Chief. I think I need to be Violet. Go to my room. Be Violet. Hello. I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Violet, and I am definitely a possible murder victim. Broadway? Nope. Anybody here? Lexi? No. Just to make sure. Right? Okay. Let me visit my man. Tell a cab. Hello, lovely. Take a look at this. It's a picture of Dorota. Mm hmm. I don't want to see pictures of your conquests. Yeah. Your conquests. It's not like that. It's just a press photo. Do you see anything in it? The lines? A girl holding a cello. What do you see? What do you beautiful lady. I can make you look like that, Violet. You just need to let me. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Fellow redheads, unite! Is that it? Chief. Of oh, Chief! Damn it! God damn it, Jinx. Or Claude in this game. I like Jinx, though. Go to my room. Okay, was I everybody? Leave. Give me cab. Are we? No, we're not done, Chief. What do I do? Do I revisit people? I mean, I could do that. Do I absolutely have to? Uh. Do close a close a pine and Skalbaka mix well, asking for a friend. I don't think it would. Just as a general rule, avoid alcohol with prescriptions. Oh, hey, you did a reading for What's Her Face? Yeah. She asked for a sample reading to show what I could do. Did you read Poe, too? No. He didn't seem all that interested. It's a shame. He seems like a man with lots of interesting demons. Oh, that's great. That's good to know. Put a pin in that one. I guess I'll go through the bluffs then. I don't really want to. Tell me. About a month ago, the guest house was empty and I was alone in my bedroom. 
All I could hear was dripping. Well, cold tap. It's Cthulhu. Drip, drip, drip. And then it began. I could smell iron, a strong metallic smell. Then I could taste it on my tongue. And then weightlessness. Like time and space had stopped. That was the first time they took me. First time? It's happened more than once? It's happened five times. Okay. Even on Clozapy. Yet that strange aura then I'm gone. I tests for epilepsy amongst other things. But all the scans were normal. You, you forget everything? No. I have certain flashbacks. Hmm. I really need details. It's difficult to explain. Did you Stuck kill anybody? On the wall of an enormous room made from these wooden vines, except the vines slowly move and drip with pain. My head is pushed out like I'm a trophy. If I look to my side, there are others, heads, all prisoners, being experimented on. Experimented on? They rearrange us. Ew. Decorations. Suck us backwards into the darkness and then thrust us back through the wall. And when they return me home, I'm broken. Cuts. Bruises. Memories. Good grief. She's always suffering. Good God. Anyway. Did we talk? Okay. Can you tell me about the coin in her mouth? Was it a gold coin? Yes. Hmm. That's more of a serial killer thing than a possessed by a traveler thing. It's a bit showy, but you know, there's no guarantees. Okay, well, I'm glad I told you. Even though people aren't supposed to know that, but hey. All right, I spoke to you. All right, cool. Go to Lexi, the forgetful one. Hey, Lexi. Okay. Do I need to... It's not oh, okay. There we go. Listening to Radio August. Investigations into the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw are continuing this evening. Miss Shaw was found dead in her home at approximately 10 p.m. last night in what police are describing as a puzzling case. It's Residents very puzzling. Are urged to be cautious until the perpetrator is caught. If you're redhead, I cannot stress this enough, August. Stay safe out there. You mean the world to me. In other news, Monroe has been detained on urgent business, so you're stuck with me until she returns. Never fear, Monroe fans. We still have lots of pre-recordings, so you can relax with her angelic tones. That's nine o'clock with Poe. Oh, he's free! He's free! He's free now. I can go to him. Next chapter. Alright, next chapter. I think I'm gonna cut the stream here. See, visit Poe, visit Oh, There's so many people to visit. There's Chief. Visit... Oh, my God. Love the supernatural stuff happening. Still going with the whole different dimension quantum physics thing. That's cool. Also, I'm... I feel like I'm probably one of those things that travel through dimensions. And I feel like I'm one of those creatures that don't belong here. But so far, pretty fun. And I like the tarot stuff. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And thank you for the likes. Next stream is next Friday. 7pm Eastern Standard Time. Gonna be returning with... What is it called? Shapeshifting Detective? I like it. It's fun. It's tarot. It's... Me being a mystical, mythical creature, I'm shape-shifting into other people and I'm ruining their lives and I'm going on dates <laughs> as other people. I hope I get to do more of that. I'm just going to ruin everybody's life and maybe solve a murder. But I would also like to ruin some lives just for the fun of it.
Yep, Mr. Jones, have a good night. Jojo, have a good night. Once again, next stream is next week, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And with all that being said, have a good night. Enjoy your weekend.